Visit our fabulous sponsor, Ka Gold Jewelry, link in the description below. Hello, fabulous superstar Capricorn. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of May, 2019. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out right now. Um, but really, this is a month where your instincts will be sharp and can help you to move your life in dramatically new and forward directions. Of all the zodiac out there, I think you are going to have the most fun of just about anybody else and it's going to feel like luck is on your side your fertility is high uh, your children may very well be the source of great luck in your life as well and you add to this a real sense of creative brilliance that can change your circumstances for the better so there's a lot to talk about here and it really starts with this month's new moon right around the fourth of the month give or take a day on either side depending on where you are on the planet we will have this month's new moon now this new moon takes place in this very fun and fertile and creative part of your sky but it is also this part of the sky that speaks to self-actualization and given that this is one of the more positively aspected new moons that I have seen in a while, well, it does suggest that this is a time when you are tapping into something within you, some juice, some motivation that can help you to transform your circumstances in ways that last a very long time. This is an energy of success. It is an energy of luck. And it is an energy that in some cases, the surprises come and just when you don't know what to make of it, it helps you to leap your life forward. So we have the new moon, but it isn't just about the new moon. It isn't just about an isolated moment, but rather we'll have lots of supporting energies that carry the new moon energy forward that much more. And it starts with Mercury just days after the new moon. Mercury will move into the same part of the sky and will quickly connect with Uranus. Right in the middle of the month, Venus will move into this part of the sky and again very quickly connect with Uranus as well. This maximizes an energy of, of joy, really, of presence, of you feeling creatively awakened and you being blessed as a result of your creative vision. So in just some very practical ways, uh, let me say this. If there ever was a time for you to take a risk, uh, whether it's on your own hunches, your own instincts, or even just buying a simple lottery ticket, this month really would be it. Uh, you've got lots of cosmic support for having things go exceptionally well in your favor and in sometimes surprising ways. And there are just so many moments throughout this month that it tells me stay connected to yourself and to what it is that you feel is the right step for you. Where it is that you are a person who uses your creativity to your advantage, well, this is a month that can have you taking not only your creative vision to new places, but also finding yourself with opportunities to share your creative vision in bigger ways than you have before. And what we also have happening with this energy is it is very much about children and fertility. Whether you are feeling like a big kid or you are getting to spend more time with kids that matter to you, including your own children, or if you want children, you will be very fertile. You've got lots of cosmic support for your fertility surprising you. So keep that in mind as well. If you are not wanting your fertility to surprise you, uh, there are things, of course, that you can do to make sure that this energy manifests in different ways to your liking. As we move later into the month, right around the 18th is when we will have this month's full moon. Now this full moon is happening in a very social part of your sky. It has to do with friendships, uh, group endeavors, group activities, including professional uh, group endeavors as well. Now the thing with this energy is that this full moon will be standing across the sky from Mercury. And Mercury, of course, in this very uh, fun and self-actualizing part of your sky. 
And what this tells me is that there might be a little bit of a contrast between what you feel you need to do for a group endeavor or what it is that other people want you to do and where it is that you are feeling uh, called towards, whether it's something that's fun for you, you think it'll be more fun than what other people want to do, or whether it is that you are hoping to move in a more creative endeavor, uh, that can be part of it. This can also be a sense that there is something that you're working on with other people and you have a particular creative vision or something that you think would be a really good idea, but there may be some need for compromise that shows up at this time. For all that though, we do have Pluto speaking in harmony with this full moon, which tells me that with a little bit of motivation, you are able to summon a spirit of focus, uh, a spirit of just being able to make incredible manifestations possible at this time with the strength of your will and your own desire. Yes, you may have to compromise and you may have to take other perspectives into consideration, but for all that, there's a part of you that understands that whatever opportunity, whatever project it is that you're working on, there's something about it that can can be incredibly meaningful to you and you are willing to dedicate yourself towards it. Now, where it comes to matters of love, that new moon and all that fun energy is also flirtatious energy. It is romantic energy. It's about whatever it is that you're passionate about. And of course, what is it that opens up ourselves to our passions more than what is happening with love. Now you add to this right in the middle of the month, Mars is going to move into your opposite sign. And this is going to bring another person very much into focus. And it does bring with it a motivation to partner up as well. So if you're open to meeting someone new, I think that new moon and all that energy playing out with Venus in the second part of the month as well, well, it does suggest that you are going to welcome in a truly wonderful time where just being yourself and enjoying yourself makes flirtatious and romantic moments that much possible. And it is in the enjoyment that a real heart connection can be found. And you have, of course, the motivation and the boldness to go out there and connect with people at this time as well. For those of you who are getting to know someone, if you've just started dating someone, this new moon is powerfully beautiful energy for dating somebody, okay? It really is energy that says you're getting to know this person in leaps and bounds. Uh, this person may surprise you as well uh, in ways that maybe in the moment you're not really sure what to feel about, but very quickly reveal uh, to be that much more joyous. And it can be at this time that you find yourself really nurturing uh, a love connection with this person that much more. And for those of you who are in an established bond, look, we do still have the fun and the romance, and that's great. You want to go to that. But remember, Mars is going to move into your opposite sign in the middle of the month. And what that does suggest is that your partner just needs more of your energy in the coming, well, the better part of the next seven weeks or so. So you'll have a good month and a half of this energy. And so, yes, you may find yourself needing to focus on your partner that much more, uh, whether it is need, whether it is desire, uh, whether it is passion, in one way or another, you are going to be motivated to spend more time. Just make sure you're also incorporating that fun energy as well. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there is so much here, but I just love how your heart is lit up. Your instincts are high. Uh, you have this confidence that you are radiating and it is helping you to propel your life forward in leaps and in bounds. There's a real sense now of self-trust that is there and that is allowing you to take a gamble and reap large rewards as a result. Well, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your patience. There's a helicopter outside. I tried to stop and stuff where I could, but you probably heard a lot of noise and I'm so sorry about that. But thank you. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for being here. Uh, you can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the Superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.